what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AV now you guys read the title so you know what I'm doing right listen I'm just gonna get right to the point this is what it really is all about you know what I'm gonna show you what I did and then you know I'm gonna do a brine technique and all of that I'm gonna put a link it'll be right up here so you guys can click on it you can see how I make the brine the whole shebang but you want to use one of these racks right here and also I'll put a link in there so you guys can take a look at that listen I don't want to over talk it I'd rather just show you guys you know so we can get right into it and I'm smiling right now because check this out you guys won't be able to see this until I get close up to it but this right here is a pit boss you know pellet smoker they never ever used it and you guys know that I've been called back to work you know since this whole pandemic you know what I mean but listen this was uh, what I have to use I'm getting ready to use it and we getting ready to make it happen okay before I finish you know setting up my drumsticks I just want to show you guys what I did was I went ahead and just started to preheat you know the pit boss you know pellet smoker right so I got it I set it for 350 degrees what you see right now you can look right here you can see the smoke listen it's starting to fire up and now I'll take it back over this way and now we'll do some seasoning as you can see this has been brining I went ahead and washed everything out got everything ready to go so now what we want to do is season now you heard me just talking about my seasoning right you know I use that for your, your chicken by uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's but I did not have that so this is my version of just something that I can do to season this but remember it's all about this rack right here and to show you now what I'm gonna do is now look it's been in this bowl right I'm just gonna take it kind of like pat it dry just to knock off a little bit of the moisture I'm gonna go ahead and just put them here and we're gonna start there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna season it you know we'll just season it. I'm gonna go ahead and go both ways you know both of them then we'll flip it over don't be scared you guys you got to use you know what I mean you got to put some seasoning on it I'm not gonna bore you guys with you know doing them all you don't have to watch me do them all but I just want to show you what seasoning is if you guys been following me for a long time you know you got to have some seasoning right if you guys can see this flap right here this the skin right pull it back it exposes the meat put a little bit on there like that then just bring it forward put a little bit like that and what we, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat all the way till I got all of these done and then we'll move over to the next step. Here we are, we done here. Let me get this out the way. And now I'll move this over just so you guys can take a look and see, this is it. Got them seasoned, right? Look, the longer it takes me to put them on this rack, the better off it is, right? Because now we already brine, now we putting the seasoning, it's starting to absorb and get into the uh, meat of the chicken, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then I'm gonna set this on top of that. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna set this on top. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start loading this up. Okay, so look, we set up, right? So I put myself a cutting board right here. If you guys got a baking sheet, you can put that underneath the bottom of it. You know what I mean? Just to get the drippings. So you take this. And we just put them on like that. I turn them, now notice it goes in, you know, cause it's kind of like flat. What I do is I turn it this way so it'll catch the knuckle good. That way when it gets hot, it doesn't just slide through. So all we gonna do is do the same thing with, you know, each one. If you take a look, you wanna have some space in between. You see that right there? The space, let me do it right here. You can see this right here. That way you can allow, you know, for the heat to go through here and it'll cook evenly. So. And then I'm just checking right here to make sure we don't have no issues, which we don't. The knuckle seems to be big enough. So we'll just keep putting them on like this. So now you can see right here, look, I got them all in here. This rack holds six on one side, six on this side, right? And I had a couple of extra pieces. And what you guys didn't see is I left one inside of the kitchen here that didn't have nothing. So we got that one already on there. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna place this inside of the pit boss and we gonna go from there. Okay, so. You can see, got these on already, right? So now we're gonna take the rack. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this like in the center. And I'm gonna pay attention more so to this side, right? Cause here go the chimney. We know it's gonna draw the heat out this way. Now, I've been telling everybody, we all know the longer we looking and doing all that, we loading, we not cooking. But by this being a pellet grill, it's gonna go back to temp automatically. So we'll close it and then we're gonna check it. And then I'll uh, look at it. So listen, I'm gonna look at it again and it'll probably in about like 25 minutes and then we'll go from there and we'll determine how is it cooking, does it need to be turned or what. Okay, 
It's been 30 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at them. Now, right off the back, what do you see? You see this right here, this has fallen down again. So, one of the advantages is, by this being like thin gauge or wire, listen, you could take these, a pair of channel locks, pliers, and you can close this up a little bit. Then you can get yourself, you know, go ahead and get your tongs. Then you can put them on, put it back on like this. Now you just want to close it up just a little bit. And what we do is we put this on. Now that, the reason we running into this, because these are like some smaller birds. I don't want to close it up, you know, and get it where the, you know, like fit these birds. Reason being, we want to go ahead and put some bigger ones on later. But I'm looking at it. Now I want to pay attention over here on this side because we over here by the chimney, right? So I wanna look and see how it's like cooking. I told you guys this right here would probably be the hottest part because the chimney was here. But if you look over here on this side, and then we got these down here in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these pick, you know, picked up and put on. But what I wanna know is, is it cooking faster on the left side or the right side? And then again, you guys can see these right here. These right here are coming along real nice. I don't wanna squeeze them or nothing with the tongs, cause listen, they starting to spew nothing but those juices. So let me fix these. I'm gonna go ahead and close the top and then we're gonna set it again for another 30 minutes. Okay, now look, it's been one hour. Let's go ahead and give it a look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is right now, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna temp it again. We just wanna see where we at. Get this in here. You know, we are looking for 165 or above. Ideally, we want it to be 165. Anything above that, then we know we golden. So right now we at 165. It's rising to 170, and I'm good with that. I don't really like these type of uh, probes. You guys know that already, because look, all of this neck is exposed, and it's picking up the heat from the grill. But I can tell you this is already done. We'll go ahead, look at the bottom. You can see, look at the nice color. What we'll do is we'll just put it on here like this. And this is what you have right here. This right here is gonna be like super good. And I can tell you, you can look at some of the back part back here and notice that it runs, it tends to run hot towards the back. You can see the color right here. You can see it's just like dripping. Oh man, this right here is right. I've already tempted that, but we'll temp another one just to like be sure. Get this in here like this. We'll look at it. You'll see it's starting to rise. What I'm looking for, again, is 165. Boom, there it is, 165, rising to about 170. Man, this right here is gonna make for some juicy chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. We're gonna go ahead and put these in like this. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let them cool just a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut them. Okay, so got them right here in the bowl. Everybody sees you, right? So look, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right off the top. And uh, hey, listen, I'm gonna walk this to the camera. I want you guys to take a look at that. I want to show you the color on the outside. Don't forget we brine, right? So it's like tremendously just like juicy. So I'll bring it in right here so you guys can see. Put my hand up just so you guys can see like the color of it, you know? So you can see that, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead, look. I don't know if you can see it, but it's running down the side. And look, look at this right here, it's dripping. And you can see right here, look at the color. That right there is real important. You know what I mean? Look, that's the flavor from the grill. Along with the seasoning, but most of this right here is the color from the grill. This is what it's about when you smoke. So it's dripping. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this piece that you see right here, and I'm finna enjoy this. And you guys are finna just watch me enjoy this one. Whew. That right there, 
or should I say this right here is fire. Now I'm gonna dig a little deeper. I wanna get down here to the bone. I'm gonna bring it here so you guys can see. It's cooked through all the way. You can see some of that smoky flavor all down here. This is what it's about, you guys. You don't have to pe have a pellet grill either. Mm. Would I be wrong to say this piece is even better than that first piece? Okay. <laughs> all I can do is laugh, you guys. You wanna talk about something that's like just out of this world, separate you from your neighbor, or even that guy down the street that got that little shack and say he know what he doing. You do it this way, get yourself one of these racks. Now, I'ma just say this, having the rack, what it does is, it stops it from being on the grate, right? So everybody's not gonna have a pellet smoker. So if you're using a kettle style or any grill at your, at your house, you're probably using charcoal, right? So you know we got those zones. I explained that before in my past videos. You got indirect and non-direct, right? But instead of having it land on the grate, you can have this over the indirect side with it hanging down. That right there is just monumental. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just go ahead and take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, if you guys have been watching me for a minute, you know what I'm about to say. I'm out of here. Peace.